It says Eugene Henrikovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Inspiron 1570 laptop computer with a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Okay, before we do anything, we want to remove the battery so as not to damage any components. We flip the laptop over, slide the big lever, and the battery should come out easily, and it does come out not as easily. Okay, once the battery is out, we can begin work. So the tools that we're going to need a small electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit on there and a pair of metal tweezers to remove stuck screws and to manipulate cables. Now typically uh, for most laptops you have to remove the screen bezel before you can get to the screen. For Dell laptops with this particular design, uh, there's no screws on the screen bezel. Most bezels have screws that you have to remove, but Dell doesn't have any, so we just snap it off. So let's start. This is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure, but just take your time on this and it will be all right. So we need to snap off the screen bezel. And what I like to do, let's go with my fingertips, reach my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting the screen bezel up and see where it gives. Some places you're going to hear a snapping sound, some places it's not going to want to give, so we're just going to go to the places that it does want to give. In this particular one, the corners don't want to give, so we go around. And once we get to the corners, we go from the outside and try to snap it off from the outside, and that works. So, like so. And then, once we do that, we go on the bottom, like so, and then run with the fingertip. And we're almost done. And we lift out the screen bezel. We put the screen bezel to the side and now let's take a look to the screen. Okay, this is not the standard 15.6 inch LED screen that you will find on most, most laptops. This type of screen is called a slim screen. It's about half as thick as a regular screen and um, the screws the screws are, that it's mounted on are up here and down here and not on the side. Now the good news about this screen is it is fairly available. It is more expensive than the standard screen, but there's also another screen that has the mounting tabs on the sides, and that one's very hard to find. That's for Asus laptops, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so to remove this type of screen, and you have to be more careful with it because it is thinner, we remove these four screws and then tilt the screen forward. So let's do that. Okay, and we keep the screws in the pile. Two. Three and four. Almost there. I'm using my left hand so it's not to obscure the camera. Okay, so we tilt the screen forward. And when we do, we feel something in the back and hearing, and that's the webcam cable. So we lift up the webcam cable, it has some adhesive, like so, and the screen is exposed. Now for this particular screen, the connector is down here, it's a LED screen, so there's one connector, and we remove it, so we lift up the yellow adhesive, 
Let's see if we can get a good shot. Like so. And there's a little sliding bracket, tab, clamp, clamp, or clasp. That's proper word for it. There's a little clasp that comes down, so we have to lift up this clasp. And once we lift up this clasp, we slide the connector backward like so. Okay, now the screen is released. Okay, please note the location of the mounting tabs. So this is a standard location of mounting tabs for this type of screen, but make sure you know what it is. And let's look at the part number. Get a good focus. B156XW03B1. For most times, you don't have to care. You don't care about the V1 or V2, but for this particular screen, please make sure it is V1 because I believe V2 has mounting tabs in a different place. So B156XW3XW03B1. B1. Okay, if you want, you can also buy this screen directly from us, and we'll make sure we supply you the right screen. So the name on the website is www.screensurgeons.com and um, click on buy a screen and then follow the instructions there and we'll provide you the right screen. Okay, so once you have your new screen, you put it back in. Let's show you how to put the connection back in because that's the biggest source of problems. So you slide it back in and make sure it's in all the way. Let's see if we can get a good focus. I hope I can't see the computer, so I don't know if it has a good focus. But this is what it should look like. Make sure it's in. And then just put the screen back in, put the four screws back in, and snap on the bezel, and you're done. And you should be good to go. Okay, and that's it. Uh, my name is Eugene Pandrovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.